Paris, France. It's opening day at the world's largest air show. Dozens of top pilots take to the sky and thrill spectators with an up-close look at some of the fastest and fiercest fighter planes ever built. The most lethal tactical jet of them all is Russia's infamous MiG-29. Pilot Anatoly Kavoshur amazes the crowd with his death-defying maneuvers. His grand finale begins with a low-level pass across the field. He throttles down to a dangerously slow 111 miles per hour and dips to barely 300 feet above the crowd. Then, Anatoly points the jet skyward. But as he powers up to gain speed, there's a flame out in the right engine. He tries to steer away from the spectators, but suddenly, the plane veers sharply and plummets to the ground. I assumed it had to be fatal, and from where I was, it looked as though the plane, pilot, and fireball were at the same place. You can see that the trouble starts here, when a flame shoots out of the right exhaust. It happens when a bird is sucked into the MiG's engine. Within a fraction of a second, I realized that the aircraft was going to crash. At such a low altitude, Anatoly has no time to recover. The jet slams into the ground at more than 250 miles an hour. It is difficult to believe that anyone could escape such a horrifying crash. But watch again. At the last possible second, Anatoly's ejection seat rockets him out of the plane. Now he's just 200 feet from the ground, with barely enough time for his chute to deploy. He lands hard, less than two seconds after ejecting, dangerously close to the fiery wreckage. Rescuers pull Anatoly from the crash site. Incredibly, he's still alive. Just 24 hours later, he appears at a press conference, suffering nothing more than a black eye. Not many expected uh, the, uh, the pilot to survive in this one, getting out as late as he did. I think a less experienced pilot uh, would have died. 